Hi, I'm Justin Kay, Field Specialist in Horticulture with MU Extension. I'm here today to talk about an integrated pest management strategy known as trap cropping that can be used to control pests in summer squash production. Trap cropping is a process by where we use a very attractive plant to lure pests away from the cash crop. If their preferred food choice or this very attractive plant is not present, they will feed on available plants, such as your cash crop. By planting trap crops, we lure pests away and they then congregate on the trap crop away from the cash crop. This can result in a reduction of pesticide use on the cash crops in the field. The preferred trap crop for pests of summer squash and other cucurbits has been shown to be the blue Hubbard squash. This is because blue Hubbard squash has high levels of cucurbitacin. This is a biochemical compound that has been found to be very attractive to cucurbit pests. Pests are able to locate the Blue Hubbard squash plants through olfactory receptors. To implement trap cropping on your farm, it's important to understand that this is most effective if the trap crop is larger than the cash crop. Because of this, we want to transplant two-week-old Blue Hubbard plants at the time of direct seeding of the cash crop, or if you're using cash crop transplants, to transplant the two-week-old Blue Hubbard plants two weeks prior to transplanting of the cash crop. It's been shown that two to four plants of Blue Hubbard at each row end is effective for trap cropping in this method. It's important to note that it's still very important to control insects on the trap crop. If they're not controlled, the insects will wipe out the trap crops and then they will migrate into the cash crops in the field. There's a number of synthetic options, both contact or systemic. If systemic insecticides are used, they can offer three to four weeks control as a root drench. It's recommended to reduce harm to pollinators to remove the blooms of the trap crop treated with the systemic drench. There are also organic options available, such as Isera and Pyganic. And for more options, consult the Midwest Vegetable Production Guide for commercial growers. In order to have success in trap cropping, it's essential to control the pests on the trap crops, as well as to continue monitor the cash crop for insects. Apply insecticides if pest thresholds are reached on the cash crop. The Blue Hubbard crop must be maintained and properly watered and fertilized just like the cash crop so it's robust and attractive to pests. Another strategy is to consider planting an additional Blue Hubbard at each row end once the first Blue Hubbards start blooming. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me at justin.key at missouri.edu. There's also some great additional resources that we'll share in the description of this YouTube video.